Hello, and Monsters Abound here, and welcome back to Total War Warhammer 2 Mortal Empires and part 3 of my Malekith campaign. We have we have killed, I mean, I'm, I'm not the best at maths, so I've got a G in maths, um, but I reckon trillions of Skaven have died at Malekith's hands in the last in the last few episodes, and uh, I don't think that's, that's an over-exaggeration. I think that's fine. And we've got a rebellion coming up. Definitely a rebellion coming up. I'm trying to build more public order buildings, but even that I don't think is going to make a dent. Uh, yeah, so... Issues there. I think to help... I mean, I think getting rid of that Skaven corruption will help, though. Because that's currently at 21% and it's climbing. And I think Rakdu Gorge is the cause of it. So we are going to go and take that out. That's the next plan. But... Do I head back and deal with the... You know what? I am going to... I'm going to take a punt. And I'm going to say... I'm going to leave Nagrond to its own Dreadlord devices. We do have uh, Narin here. He is the garrison commander for Nagrond. He will hold Nagrond with his... I mean, or it will be his life. And his life, basically, is what I'm saying there. Uh, and so that's what he's going to do. So I think while Malekith repairs his forces... Uh, Nirian is going to hold on to Nagrand and we're going to head down and take out Rakdu Gorge to hopefully deal with some of that corruption. I think that's what I'm going to do. Okay, good. Decided. Cease Imminent Rebellion, that's fine. Go. So there's the Rebellion. I think I just need to get down to Rakdu Gorge before the Skaven build up their forces yet again because God knows they're good at it. Give them a few turns to deal with that rebellion, and they'll be back with another couple of stacks, and uh, it'll be it'll be the altar of ultimate darkness all over again. Talking of the altar of ultimate darkness, there's actually a special building here. Uh, we go to the building browser. So we can build the altar of ultimate darkness. The pure, unfiltered darkness oozing from this altar is enough to give even the hardest Druki pause. I see. Uh, Winds of magic power reserve, plus three for all forces. Lord recruit rank, plus one. Tax rate, plus five percent. Hero recruit rank, uh, hero recruit rank, plus one for sorceresses. So that's pretty nice. We should definitely pick that up if we can. Uh, we've got the rebellion there. We've got public or exploit feuds. That's going to be useful. Um, and Malekith is strict. Well, yes. That army is not particularly worrying. I'm okay with that. I think the Grand will hold. They'll probably recruit more. But let's just uh, hope for the best. Okay, let's move down here. Okay, they don't have another army. Yet, let's go for the, uh, the what's it called, channeling. Some more replenishment. Uh, currently, we're losing cash. That's not great, is it? Are you in range? You're not in range. No, okay. I, I don't, Nirian, I don't. Let's get some... Re okay, so let's get... Let's get Revel in Suffering. So that's growth, plus 15 for all provinces. Ah, the Suffering, the sweet, sweet Suffering. I'm fairly confident Nagrand can hold against that rebellion. I mean, at least long enough for Malekith to return. Who's screaming? Oh, it's Malekith. All right, Malek. All right, all right, Malekith. I think we get the idea. Ugh. Ah oh, yes, there's another Skaven army. That's okay, we can deal with that. They're raiding, but... Yeah, Malcontent's leaving for the Rebellion. No. Uh, they have recruited more units, but I think... I think we'll be okay. Let's go and deal with these guys. Oh, Skaven! What a surprise! What's uh, off? How many did you... Did you kill over a thousand enemies? Okay, good. Search it, then burn it. Ooh, uh, occupy. The world will kneel. Okay, so enemy killed in battle. We've got the province secured. 
and the circlet of iron has been completed. So we've got the next part north, answer the hags, trying the Witch King's patience for the northern borders now grown vast. He demands a more specific location with a threat of Grond will burn if the satisfactory answer is not given. The death hags look unmoved. They know that Grond is Morathi city and that her son would not risk her wrath. Perhaps they do not know the Witch King. As we need to occupy, loot, raise, or raise one different settlement. Okay, that's that's easy enough. I am the Witch King. Okay, so uh, Contagency there has just got uh, himself. He's only on loot 299 health. I don't think that's going to be the much of a threat. We could leave that there. Uh, let's upgrade to that. We have money coming Dread in. Public order is currently actually Morality. good for the moment. So let's, let's you know, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna question that. Um, we could get, oh, that doesn't work, does it? Uh, let, let's get the word of pain upgrade. Because I quite like that. That works really well against an enemy, especially like a lord or hero or something, and that will really, really take him out. So that will be good. We'll do that. Malekith, King of Malekith is looking a little bit... His, his army's looking a bit beat up, but that will be fine. Be absolutely fine. The Grand, uh, I think that's okay. We've got the commandment available. Thank God. So let's get uh, the Mard Highborn hostages. Gives some reduction in income from slaves, but it does increase public order, which we so badly need. So even with plus 44 uh, increase to public order for malcontents leaving for the rebellion, uh, we're only at minus, we're only at plus 20. So uh, that's not particularly great. Okay, that's fine. We've got the province. We can head back, circle round, deal with that rebellion. Will Clan Septic throw themselves at my settlement in a desperate attempt to retake it with one Skaven Grace here? Probably is the answer to that, and that'll be hilarious. Uh, uh, damn, I'm at war with those guys, aren't I? Hmm. That's. That might be okay. Either very brave or very foolish. Wow. Uh, you want a defensive alliance? Um, how about no defensive alliance? How about military access? Uh, and you give me more money. How about that? Military access. Ha. Huh. Ah, uh, yeah, I thought I might do that. Well, he's dead. Gifts from Cain. Your prestige grows, my lord. I know. News of your conquest spreads far and wide. Okay, yeah, yeah, bye bye. Uh, right, so we've got chapter of Detective successful, so 200, 2,000 treasury, additional 2,000 from... Oh, I didn't actually look at the... Um, uh, objectives, there we go. What are the chapter objectives? So we've got to maintain 45 units, the Merciless Host, the will to dominate and win 8 battles, raw destruction, loot or sack 4 different settlements, those who suffer, capture 5,000 battle captives, and um, reach rank 10 with the following character, Malekith Scourge of Nagaroth. Lord of the Black okay. That army is now full. I'm a little bit concerned that they are expanded over here. Uh, I mean, can we... Wait, are we at war with them? I thought we were, but... Nope. Neutral. Okay, good. Okay, that's fine. Let's march. Hopefully by the time we reach uh, Nagarond... I'll be in a good position. Public order is falling again, because of course it is. Why not? Let's get rid of that and build up the conscription halls here. I think that's probably a good good option. And I would like that, but we can't build it yet. Let's go for the torture post just until public order stabilises, because at the moment 
it's it's just a cluster. We've got too much corruption. Scaven corruption is dropping though, so untainted is increasing. So that's good. But we've got osmosis from somewhere. I think it's down here. So we might have to do something about that. Uh, oh! Hagreen got a skill point. Let's go for spread public order because I think that's actually going to come in uh, quite useful. Problem is, that rebel army is going to be significantly stronger than Malekith's force. Deadwood Sentinels against Harganeth, Forgebound Clark Corond. Garond and Harganeth. Okay, that's fine. Now they've laid siege. That's okay. That's good. In fact, that works for me. Uh, Narian is strict. That's not a massive surprise. Right, let's move in. Either they will batter themselves well, against our defences. Can we see what their army's got in there? Right. Okay, that's not, that's not too bad. I mean, those harpies will die quite easily. Their infantry, the only, only good infantry they've got there is witch elves. They've got a fair chunk of Cavalry, yeah, we should we should be able to throw them back from the Grand if they do attack. So that will be fine. Uh, oh, it's under siege. That's okay. So we could upgrade to that. Would be nice if we could get any more public order there. Need to upgrade to the next rank of building, ideally. To upgrade our public order building actually get some control over it. I mean, I know public order, you don't want to make it trivial to deal with. But, if you start off in a position where you're like, well, I guess my city's going to rebel because there's literally nothing I can do about it. That's a little bit frustrating. Okay, they are going to attack the city and it's well within our uh, yeah, balance of power there. I mean, we could fight it. Oh, let's fight it. I'll probably do worse than the auto resolve would, but uh, it's fun. Okay, so I've started up the battle slightly differently than I normally would because this is the Nagrond map from i think it's the g c c m grand campaign community map mapping mod um and i understand what they're trying to do and to be constructively critical about this map it's it's obviously they put a lot of effort into it but it is obscenely huge, far more complicated than it needs to be, and I don't think a lot of the detail works very well. Um, so I'll, I'll just show you what I mean by that. I, it's just, um, I mean, if we haven't done it, kind of feels like Toy Town down here, if, if I'm brutally honest. Uh, this, the, the sort of buildings just feel slapped down in the middle of nowhere for no real inherent reason. Um, and it could be a work in progress, but but currently the the actual detail feels a bit lacking. The other thing is, I mean, if we look over here, so we've got we've got several different parts to the wall. So we've got this section over here, then we've got even more sections over here, and this is me scrolling. Imagine if there was a unit trying to march to this location; it would just take for friggin' ever. Um, so yeah, so and there's this. There's, there's, I mean, this is quite interesting. This sort of, this sort of wall against the wall. I quite like that. That's nice. Um, our towers have fireballs as well, by the way. That's quite nice. Um, but yeah, so I mean, I, you know, it's it's a really nice. It's it's a nice attempt at the map. I do 
generally kind of kind of like to s- I like what they've tried to do, but I think realistically it's just not going to work. To be brutally honest, I if the armies were ten times the size they are, it could potentially work. If this was a total war arena map, this could work. But for a single siege map, it's just too it's just too massive, um, and I'll, I'll um. That'll, that'll become apparent later. But uh, just so, let's uh, start the battle. So we are defending the city. I don't think it's going to be particularly difficult, particularly when all our towers are firing fireballs. Which is friggin' hilarious. So I don't think uh, many of these units are going to survive very long. We've got some cold one knights there exiting the building. Or exiting the, the city even. To do some uh, sallying. Don't think, yeah, I don't think the, the rebel army is going to get very far. I, I, I realistically think, don't think the Grand is in any danger in the early campaign, at least in it's still faith overhaul. So we do have a couple of. I'm not sure why they've got two rams, but um, I guess ten out of ten for for trying. But uh, yeah, all these units are just getting absolutely wrecked by fireballs. Over on the other side, we do have a lot of harpies and some cavalry. They're again getting just bombarded by the. Uh, the city walls and the towers. Uh, the harpies are a little bit of a concern. The uh, dark riders, absolutely none. They are just going to get blown to pieces. The AI doesn't really know how to... I don't think the AI knows how to split its army, really. So another reason why, you know, fighting on multiple sides, interesting. I don't think the AI can deal with it. That's just that's just how it is. It, it can't, for example, reinforce. So basically that, that force over there is utterly useless. There's literally no point in having that. It's not going to help the, the siege at all. We do have some units coming in there. We do have some units reaching the walls, but they're going to be repulsed fairly easily. We have moved our cold ones in to eat. The, uh, the Dread Spear is trying to climb up the wall. Our general has managed to reach, reach the battlements there, but he's not going to get very far because uh, we've got uh, Narin over here. He's leading the, the Dark Shards. And we can just focus fire. And uh, these guys are just getting absolutely obliterated by fireballs. So uh, the the, wall, the gate down here has gone down with the ram. But the units that managed to get through are, well, not, not in a good position really. They're not in a good place. And uh, they immediately break and run as soon as they hit the black guard who are stationed outside the gate. Ugh. Just bounce off that tower. There we go. So we do have some harpies engaging the... Are they bleak swords? Yeah, bleak swords over there. I think there's some corsairs over there as well. Are they, are they all bleak swords? Bleak swords and dread spears, yeah. So we do have some harpies. They are breaking and running into the city. And this causes a little bit of a problem. Uh, there are four victory locations. So I guess you would need to capture at least three to start taking the city. I mean, God knows how you'd even manage that. It would just be insane. Um, but we do have some harpies fleeing into the city. We also have uh, their general, Dreadlord. What's her name? Ravin or something? Ravian? Ravioli? Something? I probably got that entirely wrong. Don't care. She is also going to be fleeing. I almost want someone to siege Nagarond again just so I can throw fireballs at them. Because that's brilliant. Never mind. Uh, so yeah, the Dreadlord is is now running away into the city. Uh, we do still have a few units still. Um, I don't think we did. But is there? Ah, oh, there's some harpies, isn't there? Somewhere. Yes. Yeah, some harpies have managed to rally. They're in the city. I mean, chasing them down would be an absolute soddy nightmare. But thankfully, I think they'll probably just go for one of the victory objectives but we have got this uh, dreadlord running away in, in the city here and uh say so the scale is very impressive but do you really want it to be this big because uh i could be chasing her for a while i say some of this stuff i mean that's i like that having some sort of like uh, choke points in the city maps uh a bit like that would be really interesting so that i like uh, I think a bit more detail and just slim it down, really. And I think otherwise, it's a, it's a really nice map. 
you could make it about half the size it is and still be to be honest i would like i mean i know people complain about the maps being small and only attacking one side i think if you at least made it like uh, thematic a bit like sort of helm's deep that's only attacking one wall but it looks good that kind of thing i think that could work anyway dreadlord is coming back i think the main point problem is the cities look pretty generic but then they look generic in most of the total war series i don't think it's anything new to the warhammer uh warhammer total war franchise the Dreadlord is uh, now fighting the Black Guard. Not doing particularly well. Breaking again. Those uh, Harpies have, I think, taken up position. What are they doing? I have no idea what they're doing. Just flapping around. Thankfully, they'll break in a second and uh, we will take the victory. But otherwise, I would have to chase them around all over the place. It would be an absolute sodding nightmare. But uh, the dread, yeah, we've, we've used the lure of the pale queen to freeze the dreadlord in place. That's helped us catch up with them, and uh, we can then give her a good old, good old poking by the black guard. Glorious and uh, those rebels have been dealt with. I think if every city had fireball defensive towers, the world would be a better place, or at least certainly more on fire. So, okay, now we've got a got you know a skill point there. That's pretty good, good good work. Uh, I guess I, you know what we're going to take the treasure. Going to take the monies. There we go, and that's the rebels have fled. So now Grond can certainly hold themselves in a siege. That's not an issue. Okay, uh, that's aborted. That's fine. Do not vex us further. Uh, what did I want to do here? I kind of wanted to get slave pens to help with the public order. Because slaves are reduced. I mean, it's only by two. It's not It's not a major issue. But it would be good to deal with. Escaping corruption dropping to zero. So I think things are looking up. Things are looking up. That's good. And uh, public order should... My kind of stabilised. Do I head north and deal with... Oh, he's got... Well, these guys. These guys. Mung. You're actually improving. Because of my actions against Clan Septic, although they're now dead, so that probably won't be... You probably won't uh, continue those positive relations for very long. Do I go up and just take these cities? Should I do that? Just knock them out. Just protect my northern border. I think maybe that could be a good option, couldn't it? Um, how does these... Who are these guys? Uh, Grond. How do Grond feel about me? They don't like me. They don't like Mung either. So if I attack Mung, they're probably not going to attack me. Uh, although I have a trespass. Well, you know what? I think I think Narin can probably hold his own. Uh, let's give him Inspiring Presence. And Malekith is going to head Your north. King has arrived. I, am the witch king. I am no longer concerned about the rebels. Okay. Money-wise, I could do with more. Really, a thousand slaves only bring in a hundred income. Rubbish. No, that's probably because I don't have the slave pen, so... hundred slaves, so we'll have ten... Uh, yeah, so we'll have another... Another hundred from slaves, so that'll double it. Income from slaves plus ten percent, that'll give some more. Also give us a garrison, which will be nice. That'll be alright. Uh, public order is currently good. Well, that's probably because of the military crack. Oh no, the military crackdown's finished. So corruption is a problem. But it's, it's dropping to 50%. It's because of that osmosis. Uh, I suspect that's where the chaos corruption has come from. It's these beastmen. Okay, well that's oh that's that's fine. That's fine. Um, 
to get a 90 growth a turn, which is pretty good. I'm not going to recruit any more units. That could be a bad decision. Don't come north. Good. So head south. That's fine. Uh, uh, I'm going to have to deal with you on time. Back again so soon? Uh, training dummies. Dummy has undergone a rigorous new training regime focused on frontline combat, yielding excellent results. All units now have improved melee attack capabilities. Plus 15 melee attack. Oh. Fear. Naren, can you deal with that? We will make them Thank you, you're a delight. What a treat. Uh, let's take the cash. And that's the rebels dead. And Naren has got a death mask. Ooh. And a bodyguard. That's good. Okay, with these... I mean, I am at war with these guys. But if I can secure my northern border, problem is if they keep coming around, if they go for Rock Do Gorge or something. That's depend. If they go, for, uh, I don't know. Um, hmm. Kind of want to destroy them. A little bit worried about these guys, Definitely though. Uh, Naren has got a skill point, though, so let's let's give him a Sea Dragon Cloak. Overlord. Let's let's get another Dread Spear and a Dark Shard while I mull over what to do about this, because at least public order is going to increase, so that's going to be good. So I'll just see what they do. If they go for the Temple of Cain, I might head north. If they don't, I'll have to head down to Rakdu Gorge. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Okay, we've gone for the Temple of Cain. Fine. And we've got Revel in Sufferings. That's going to increase our growth. That's going to be very good. Do we have population surplus? We do. Excellent. So let's grab the Nagrond uh, Dark Elf Tower. And I'm going to... My cruelty knows no limits. Does that stop? That makes us immune to attrition. Okay. So we need... I think is it 50 or 25? I think it's 50. Awaits. Only the weak fear the cold. Not now, yeah. but later. Okay, let's do that. While we head up to Mung and uh, take them out. I mean, not, you know, in a, in, a, in a date way, but just kill them. Kill them all is basically what I'm trying to get, trying to get across there. That's what we're going to do. Kill them all. Let's get a continuous slave sub Oh, actually. Um, speed. No, no, let's get continuous slave supply. There's always more work to be done. Unfortunately, a constant stream of unfortunate wretches whose only option is to do it. Income from ports and casualty captured post battle. We can quickly take out Mung. Then we can head back south, and that will completely. That will concrete our hold on the northwest and then we just have to worry about expanding in uh, to the south I think Uh, 
And Aaron is severe. Ooh. Very stern. Could we reach? We could reach. Yes, we're going to declare war. Oh, that means we're going to be at war with the Akhol as well. Well, that's okay. Our master Korn rejoices. War is his domain. Nice. Uh, bloody slaughter awaits. Monsters off. Look on me and cower. And let's occupy. So we've got a power stone. Uh, Circle of Iron has been completed. So, uh, win the following battle with Malik's army. Uh, follow following a display of Malachi's temper, the Death Hags are suddenly more forthcoming. Malachi must indeed travel northward to the Altar of Ultimate Darkness, a shrine of pure chaos. The power residing within the altar must be absorbed by the Circle of Iron before it can be, ironically, be used against the Chaos Gods, should Malachi step into the Vortex and take dominion. Okay. Some Forsaken, some Chaos Knights. That's fine, and it's fairly close by, so we should do that. And Malachi is now a confident attacker. He's also bold. That's nice. Uh, let's give him. Uh, he's got two skill points to spend. I am going to. Oh, he's got destroyer as well. That would be nice to have. Let's go for. Uh, well, we had. Okay. We could get absolute power. Hold the line. Ward of Akati, that's magic resistance. That could be useful against enemies that use magical weapons. Missile resistance is always good. And we've got hold the line. Um, so it gives a passive ability, which is plus four leadership and plus 100% charge resistance nearby. Let's get eternal hatred for the attack power. And I'm going to finish off Blade Master, I think. It's going to give him 86 attack. And we're going to hit Iron Frost next turn can't build public order buildings here but that's fine let's get the dark elf manors and, and to start off with uh the norsican settlements you don't get i don't think you can build walls here you can build a garrison yes you can build a garrison but no walls so and they're not as big as normal settlements so that makes it a little bit more awkward but otherwise it's fine uh let's get Spread public order again because public order is a massive issue at the moment. Yeah, corruption of taxes. But once we've got rid of these guys, corruption should drop. And there's the quest battle over there. Narin has got another skill point. You know, he's doing very well for himself, isn't he? Uh, let's give him. Uh, give him dead eye, so he can use his crossbow to better effect. Is that the chaos waste up there? Must be. I mean, is it? Where is? Right, so the chaos wastes are actually up here, so a little bit further north, in fact, but still pretty close. Uh, yes, we can upgrade to that. That would be very useful. Public order is actually okay here. We've got military, military crackdown for a little while, a little longer. This is six additional uh, public order. Corruption is still increasing. Hmm. Uh, I think I'm going to get wall a watchtower here because it is my Nagrond and Rock Du Gorge are currently my sort of like cities that are, are most at threat. Uh, the ones to the north are fairly good. We could take Iron Frost. I mean, that should be fine. I don't know where Chaos appears from uh, when they do arrive. If they appear up north here, that could be real a real issue for me. But at the moment, it's uh, it's not too bad. I wonder if Marathi's are... I, I would like to get some trade agreements, actually. Um, who could I trade with? Noble of Na... You stand before the Black Court. What would you request? Gladly. No trade? Okay. As usual, no one wants to trade with me. Fine. Be like that. I'll make my own trade agreements. Got that like Brexit all over again.
Okay. You stand before the supreme ruler of Nagoya. Are you going to declare war on me? No, you want a non aggression pact. Uh, do I want a non aggression pact? Or, alternatively, do I want to kill you? I can't. I, I need to head south, so I, I, I'm going to have a non aggression pact. I'll wipe you out later if I need to. Uh, how grief for sending uh, agents to uh, ruin my stuff. Cheeky little so-and-sos. So, Destroyer was forged by the Witch King himself as a symbol of his determination to rid the world of the High Elven Kin. The touch of the Destroyer is especially potent against mages. It is a monumentous piece of weaponsmithing, and yet it has never been blessed by the Elven Maker God, Vol. Malekith considers it a great insult that the god has not deigned to heap praise upon him for his great work. The Witch King, while brooding about this decision, decides to sel solve his mood with an outing. So we need to raid more. Uh, okay, so that's failed. We can get a Black Ark if we want one. Public order is currently okay. Let's move out here. Is there an army there? There is, but only a little one. We won't take attrition, so let's head straight for it. We'll take it as quickly as possible. Black the people are displeased. Okay. I'm surprised, actually, that they don't have more armies. But <laughs> I'm okay if that's not the case. Okay, we're building. Yes, the and that's fine. Walls there. What's a garrison like at Rock Dew Gorge? Okay. And that's going to give us Reaper Bolt Thrower, Dark Riders, and two Shades. Fine. And you are a smelly beast man. Let the gauls come. You want an aggression pact? Uh, yeah, sure. You smart. I know. Many have said such that I am indeed smart. Car on, car on the wall. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh. Okay. That's not good. I mean, it's not actually, other than their general, that might not actually be unbeatable. But that'll have to wait until next time. So thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode.